In this lesson, we're going to perform addition and subtraction with column vectors. To begin with, a column vector describes a horizontal and a vertical translation. When the number on top is negative, we move to the left, and when it is positive, we move to the right. And below it, again, we move up when it is positive and down when it is negative. So we have 2a minus b. And here is the column vector for A, and here is the column vector for B. So we have two lots of A, two lots of 3 to the right and 2 up, minus B, which is 1 and negative 3. I'm going to work out two lots of 3, which is 6 to the right, and two lots of 2 up, which is 4 up. And a negative times the 1 makes this a negative 1. And a negative times the negative 3 makes that a positive 3. So we're actually moving to the left and we're moving up. So we're going to move a point 6 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 4 up. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then we're going to move it 1 to the left and 3 up. 1, 2, 3. So the resultant vector from the start is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So this is 5 to the right and 7 up. You can see this works because the 6 take away 1 equals 5 and the 4 add the 3 makes 7. For question B we have B which is 1 and negative 3 plus A which is 3 and 2 plus C which is negative 2 and 1. So we can start here. We're going to go 1 to the right and 3 down. And then we'll do 3 to the right and 2 up. That is A. And then we can go negative 2, which is 2 to the left and 1 up. So actually we have moved 2 to the right, which is... 2 and 0. For question C, we have 2C, two lots of negative 2 and 1, plus 3A, which is three lots of 3 and 2. Two lots of negative 2 is negative 4. Two lots of 1 is 2. And then we have 3 times 3, which is 9 and 3 times 2, which is 6. Starting here, we can go 4 to the left, and 2 up. And now we're going to go 9 to the right, and 6 up. So our resultant vector is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 up. And finally, for question D, we have A, which is 3, 2, minus B, which is 1, minus 3, plus 2C, which is 2 lots of negative 2 and 1. So we have 3, 2, which is A, minus a negative times a 1 is going to be negative 1, a negative times a 3 is going to be a positive 3. And then we have 2 times negative 2, which is going to be negative 4, and 2 times 1, which is going to be positive 2. And we're going to add these together. So, we can go, starting here, 3 to the right, and 2 up. And then, 1 to the left, and 3 up. 
and then four to the left and two up. So our resultant vector is one, two to the left, which is a negative two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven up. And you can see this works because three take away one is two, two take away four is going to be minus two, two add three is five, and five add two is seven. So you can either add the individual vectors or you can move them on a grid. Thank you for watching and I do hope you found that useful.